What forces and conditions triggered the deadly mudslide in Snohomish County, Washington? Is there any way to detect such devastating events before they occur? Two big questions tackled by scientists and engineers from the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington. Okay, Gordon great. Farquharson so, and Chris Chickadell as as outfitted a light plane with sophisticated sensors. We have a, a, an, instru an instrument package on board our aircraft, um, which consists of a synthetic aperture radar, a pair of thermal imaging cameras, and a pair of visual uh, band cameras. The APL UW team secured permission to overfly the slide zone still the scene of an active rescue and recovery effort. Our purpose was really to gather a preliminary baseline data set uh, over the OSO slide. And it's important to map the state of the system as quickly as possible so that you can assess the, the, the first impact of what's happening, as opposed to looking down the line and wondering, you know, did, did this part move, did that part move, and when. We really want to um, assess as quickly as we can close to the event. So the radar system that we're using is actually on loan from a company called Artemis. Uh, they make miniaturized synthetic aperture radars. And what the system allows us to do is image the slide site at very high resolution. We're looking for changes in the slide area after the slide has happened, which might indicate areas of weakness that exists that potentially could um, could slide further. The system, though, can look for these areas of change you know, before the slide happens and potentially tell you areas of weakness before something like this happens. Synthetic aperture radar is able to actually measure the height of the surface. The APL UW team drew upon experience gained in a recent aerial study of ocean currents at the mouth of the Columbia River, a project called DARLA. The technology that we're using is very similar. We're, we're using a technique called interferometric synthetic aperture radar. In the DALA project, we were looking at surface motion at very, very short timescales, um, sort of wave period timescales, which might be in the order of 10 to 20 seconds. Over here, we're looking for changes in the surface that are much longer, that might take place over the course of several days. The APL UW mudslide surveillance is among the first steps in a lengthy investigation into the forces that set the stage for this natural disaster. It's not even a, a question of, of um, the general causes. It really is understanding maybe the, the, per, the, the details of what happened here. Why did you have such an apron of sliding? You know, why did it slide the way it did exactly? Where did pieces go? What happened first? So yeah, it is like a detective story. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.